All right, guys, welcome back to Big Four Outdoors. This week's episode, we're taking down a triple turkey. Uh, we're over in Kansas on a property we hadn't even scouted out any this year. You know, most of our properties, we run a uh, camera system throughout the property, just trying to uh, get get some pattern on what, what we're looking at, and that way we know where to set up. But this was just a whim. We, we got out late that morning, decided we were going to take off, and... We get up to the, uh, we just crossed into Kansas, and I've got a property over there. It's about a 80-acre uh, area. Uh, I think it was set up with beans this year. We uh, we get in there, literally get set up, and we're we're hitting calls, smacking calls right and left, just trying to make all the racket we can. Hearing a little bit of gobbling here and there, but nothing like what we expected to hear. And then uh, all of a sudden across the field, I, you know, Papa here, he's like, there's a deer. And we're, we're looking and he's like, no, that's a turkey. We get to looking through the uh, range finder and I realize it is a turkey. So we're slapping calls like crazy, just making all kinds of racket. Here she come walking over, ends up being a hen, but she, she had about a seven inch beard on her. So, you know, one of my, my goals was to take a uh, big bearded hen. She she fit the bill, so I was looking looking at taking her. I was gonna let Papa here take her, but he he decided he wanted her pass, and I got the gun up to the uh, window there, got ready to shoot, and Papa here stopped me. We had two Jakes come in right behind her, and and it gets crazy after that. Shoot her. Just put it through the screen. Show it through. Just shoot, 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 shoot,
We're done here, boy. <laughs> all right, so, you know, during all the commotion, I, you know, I shoot, I drop the hand, and I immediately hand my, my shotgun over to Chris, because we got the two Jakes out here. I'm trying to get Papa to get his gun up. Chris is getting ready, but I'm trying to get, get the camera focused in on the Jakes. And literally, I mean, I'm fumbling around. You'll see in the footage, I mean, it's going crazy. And I find this little bitty hole just big enough for me to zoom in on. And I mean, as soon as I get zoomed in on the turkey, you hear boom and you see that turkey drop. Insane. I'm not, I, you know, I really wasn't sure I was going to get that shot in on it. But we did. You know, it's, it's real quick. But you get to see that. And then, you know, it's immediately flip over to Papa. I'm telling him to rip the screen down, get that gun out because... The other Jake, he's out there gobbling, going crazy because we got two turkeys down. And I'm like, shoot, Papa, shoot. And we, you know, it's just perfect timing for that. You'll see his his gun go off, the turkey flopping. And then after that, it just turns to chaos because <laughs> zombie, zombie turkey comes back to life and we're chasing a turkey through the woods. It gets pretty crazy. Big Four Outdoors. We'll be right back. There's lots of reasons to come down here and shop. You want to hunt? We got all kinds of hunting gear. We got several different kinds of bows. We got used bows, and uh, we got arrows. We got every, all your accessory needs here at Outdoors Addicts. Want to go fishing? We can set you up any way you want to go. Go crappie fishing. Go hunt uh, white bass. We'll show you how to catch them if you need to. And uh, we have all kinds of spoonbill equipment, big big uh, catfish equipment. No matter what you're looking for. Come on down to Outdoors Attic to supply all your outdoor needs. Have a busy summer schedule? Want to look fantastic? Come see us at the Tan Line in Web City. We offer convenient 24-hour access to our monthly subscribers, so you can tan anytime. We offer an array of tanning options too, from traditional laying beds to standing, and even spray tans are available. Don't let your busy schedule keep you from feeling and looking your best. Come see us today, down at the Tan Line. Whew, lunch time. Oh, frozen pizza again? I don't want this. Let's get some real pizza. All right. Cheesy commercials, even cheesier pizza. With locations in Joplin and Webb City, come see us at Cheesy's Pizza. It's good to the last slice. Welcome back to Big Four Outdoors. Big Four Outdoors is sponsored by Taylor's Processing. Double D Game Calls. A call for every season. Outdoor Addicts Archery Pro Shop. Come see us in Web City, Missouri. Obsession Bows. Fuel the obsession. Victory Archery. Your carbon arrow experts. Scent Thief. Stealing your odor. Boggy Creek Outfitters. Biganowski Taxidermy. Live Oak Outdoors. Here at Big Four Outdoors, we only trust our wild game meat to the hands at Taylor's Processing. Bring your livestock or wild game on down to Taylor's for fast and professional service. You can call them at 417-673-1717. Welcome back to Big Four Outdoors. Today is Zombie Turkey Day. I hope you enjoy it. Are you gonna 
shoot through that screen. One. Tell me I'm shooting her. Yeah, somebody shoot, 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 shoot her. Shoot her. Here, hand me the gun, hand me the gun, hand me the gun. Shoot. One on the right. Buffalo, get Buffalo. him, get Buffalo. him, get him, shoot I him. I can't even get around here. Just <laughs> put it through the screen, show it through. Just shoot, shoot, shoot right there. Just put it on him. Get him, give him on film, film, film. Good job, Paul! Yeah. Triple, baby! <laughs> Put another one in your papa. Hurry up! <laughs> Woohoo! There you go. <laughs> You're done. You're done. Look at that! <laughs> All right. All right. I can't believe I remembered to put the safety off. Yeah. Oh, we're done here, boys. <laughs> All right. So through all the like camera fumbling and going around that you guys probably noticing at this time, you know, Paw Paw takes that long shot on that Jake out there and just hammers him. So we're out of the blind. We're sitting there. We're high fiving. We're all happy. Me and Paw Paw are actually talking to each other. And just something out of the corner of my eye catches me, and I just kind of look over, and here comes this turkey running, and then it lays back down. And so John's like, oh, we should get another gun, you know, put it, put another one in. And I was like, all right, yeah, let's do that, you know, whatever. And uh, so I told Papa I'll get his gun, and he, I ain't got no bullets. Well, I, I guess I didn't hear that part, so I was like, all right, well, he looks like he's done. So you see me walking up there with my shotgun, like I'm going to shoot it at point blank range. I was like, you know what, Pawpaw's first turkey, he's finishing this thing off. And before we even got back to the blind, the turkey pops up. And if you're not preparing for the zombie apocalypse by now, this should be proof enough that uh, you need to start prepping for it because I ain't never had a zombie turkey almost attack my legs before. So, <laughs> there's Jake's out there. I love how they gobbled after we shot. Yeah. It's all done. Paw -paw. Yeah, good deal. Tagged out in Kansas, baby. Big <laughs> Brown doors with a triple, baby. And only Pawpaw's first turkey. 72 plus and uh, just killed my first uh, little Jake. I don't care what he looks like or anything. It's what's so awesome over here this morning is the fact that John and Chris, uh, Chris oh. Are all, oh, oh my oh. gosh, he's going to get one of us. <laughs> That's the one I shot. Yeah, he's shot going after it. Twice. <laughs> He'll be all right. I think he's dead. No, he's still alive. Go up and get him, Papa. This gets crazy after that. It's hard to say what happened. All I can remember is shooting that turkey way out, and they ranged it out 47 yards, and it was on the ground laying there, I thought, oh man, this is great, I got a turkey, and about that time, <laughs> here it comes. If I say, kill him, I ain't got any bullets. You know what, just go ahead and shoot him again. Get him, get him, Papa. Wait a minute. I gotta get a bullet in my gun. Watch him, watch him. Chase him, chase him, chase him. Where'd he go? I got out of him right there. Get him! Get him, Papa! Wait a minute! Keeping on. Papa! 
Bring your gun. I have put all my bullets down and, and they was in a box and I had to go dig them out and all that. But it, the turkey came around. We got it down. Uh, it was real awesome. Just a great time over there. With these two guys, it's always going to be fun. But we have a good time everywhere we go. Go ahead and put it on him. That's done. Yeah. That's done right there. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere now, Papa. I think his whole head's gone. Hey. Good job, Papa. Put him out there in that field. Oh, man. Get your blood pumping? Yeah, I did. I think it was awesome this morning. Uh, we come over here to some friends of John's, uh, Paul and Jim's, and, and it really didn't seem like a good morning. We had another spot to go, but we ended up here, and it turned out it was awesome. Uh, got a triple this morning, uh, two little Jakes, and John got a real nice, <laughs> oh man, it's awesome. He got a real long bearded hen so it's been a real good morning got my first turkey 72 years old and it's great had to go after him a little bit but anyhow it's all right he's still down and we'll have him in the pot pretty soon all right guys god hey, bless Chris, uh, what do you think what do i think papa got his first turkey Tell us about the morning there, John. Tell you what, this was a crazy morning. We've been sitting here, just cackling away, getting aggressive with our calls, double D calls, and uh, it's been nuts. I mean, we we hadn't hadn't seen anything this morning. We've seen a lot of a lot of signs on the ground as far as prints in the field. Man, we uh, we sat here for about about an hour, nothing. We just started hammering calls. I mean, all three of us, boom, 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 make it sound like there's a bunch of turkey over here. And it was like they just opened up the gate over here. And this bearded hen literally came, I would say, three to 400 yards to our position here. And uh, she come across and I told him, I said, I'll put the guns down, it's just a hen. As she got closer, I could see that big old beard swinging off of her. I said, oh, we got to take this one. I said, that's a good one. And uh, here she come, and she got out in front of the blind. We were getting ready to pull the trigger, and I mean, literally, as soon as we were getting ready to pull the trigger, out jumped two, two Jakes, and uh, they, they come up behind, and all of a sudden, here's the third one, you know, and we're like, oh, my, three Jakes, bearded hand, we started laying the hammer down, you know, all three of us, boom, boom, boom. And it was so funny because as soon as we shot, they started gobbling, you know, and they stuck around, took out three. Big four took it out right here. Hey folks, so uh, we're gearing up for our 2016 deer season, hunting season. We got everything starting. This is our, our pre-season. Here we are, uh, you know, it's getting toward the end of May. We've already got a bunch of food plots out, early plant, but uh, basically, you know, this is a time of season where you really want to start doing your scouting you know, getting your food plots in, putting up your trail cameras. You know, it, it takes a lot of work leading up to the season to know exactly where you need to, you know, you got blind placement, your stand placement, 
and there's always going to be those areas that you're going to have to throw up a climber stand and jump up in because you know that that big bucks changes routine at some point in time in mid-season that you know you're you're really wanting to get on him so you got to make those sacrifices and move uh early season they're they're a little more predictable we we here at big four we we hunt a lot in the early season because we do so much work leading into it that we're able to you know pinpoint where these big bucks are that we're looking for uh you know it's for those of you that that like to see you know the deer and velvet this is the time of year <coughs> where you want to go out place your cameras and you get to start seeing that growth you know they're they're getting to you know two three inches on their on their head and you start seeing the the you know the thickness of the antlers coming out and it's really neat to start seeing the bucks on your property and what they grow into so uh, right now we're out on a hundred acres uh, our team member Wendell he uh, he's got this as one of his leases we're we're just out here scouting with him and trying to uh, you know get an idea of what what he has going on out here he's got a lot of food plots planted throughout the property and we're you know just we try to team up get a good grasp of you know helping each other out to make sure everybody's successful during their hunts so that's what we're looking for today you know we're just out enjoying the weather here in Missouri it's real nice we're we're probably about 60 70 miles north of uh, Joplin right now at one of our properties and we're we're really looking forward to it but as the season goes on we'll we'll uh, really get into you know how we do things and kind of give you guys a uh, insight on what you need to do to be successful in your hunts so stay tuned with us and we look forward to uh, hopefully helping you guys learn what needs to be done and how much work goes in to what we do so this is the furthest plot away it's it's nice and round, it butts up right next to the timber. The ridge starts right here and it cuts all the way down the, the creek side. Go check on this food plot and I'll be right back. I'll take some pictures of that, uh, that food plot for you guys too. <laughs> Send a search party after me if I'm not back in 15 minutes. I mean, we'd really like to see the food plot, but beans, you gotta cross the Grand Rapids over here to get there. <laughs> like I was telling him, we were able to cross this with a uh, four wheeler. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Wendell is new on the team, and here we're big four. We like to play a couple tricks every now and then so he's crossed in his waders we're going to put a little water in his boot for him not too much you don't want him to notice it that ought to do trail cuts right down the side of this creek bank and that's right where they're coming in at. <clears throat> at least the waiters know that. I figured there might be a hole in it. Spread the spread the moisture, I guess. <laughs> so it's full too. <laughs> oh, that's real nice. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> How's that foot slipping down in there? <laughs> 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 just so all the viewers oh know, God, there it goes. once you get the inside of neoprene wet, it's really hard to slide to your feet by. Oh, hey, you guys are yeah, I only good to me on that one. <laughs> 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 Lunch time. Oh, frozen pizza again? I don't want this. Let's get some real pizza. All right. Cheesy commercials, even cheesier pizza. With locations in Joplin and Webb City, come see us at Cheesy's Pizza. It's good to the last slice. There's lots of reasons to come down here and shop. You want to hunt? We got all kinds of hunting gear. We got several different kinds of bows. We got used bows, and uh, we got arrows. We got every, all your accessory needs here at Outdoors Addicts. Want to go fishing? We can set you up any way you want to go. Go crappie fishing. Go hunt uh, white bass. We'll show you how to catch them if you need to. We have all kinds of spoonbill equipment, big, big uh, catfish equipment. No matter what you're looking for, come on down to Outdoors Attic. We'll supply all your outdoor needs. Have a busy summer schedule? Want to look fantastic? Come see us at the Tan Line in Web City. We offer convenient 24-hour access to our monthly subscribers, so you can tan anytime. We offer an array of tanning options too, from traditional laying beds to standing, and even spray tans are available. Don't let your busy schedule keep you from feeling and looking your best. Come see us today, down at the Tan Line. Thanks for watching Big Four Outdoors. Tune in next week for some great episodes.